the it's YouTube not as bad or? as all 100 potential jurors saying they couldn't do it. Uh, but they didn't pick any today, and it will be hard to pick a jury. The idea that Trump is calling it a persecution and that this case should have never been brought. Your feeling? I feel that the former president is exactly right, Chris. This case never should have been brought. Uh, it was all this evidence was available to the federal prosecutors in the Southern District of New York. They opted not to pursue the case. Uh, Alvin Bragg tried three or four or five different theories before he finally settled. This is the first criminal prosecution, as you report, uh, in the 248-year history of uh, our constitutional democracy. This is the first time a president has been a defendant in a criminal case. It should be something unequivocal. It should be something understandable, robbery, murder, something. But this is a bizarre uh, creation of the district attorney, Alvin Bragg, who, like Letitia James, the attorney general, are machine uh, Democrats uh, who run what the clubhouse says they run. And I, I really do think that President Trump he is, a, you know, a, a hot mess in many ways. I will never support him uh, again after he screwed the Constitution uh, and, uh, and, you know, after uh, uh, January 6th and so forth. But January he 6th. is being victimized. He is being railroaded. Uh, this is a case. Uh, uh, what is so this So here are the case? counters. Is it a hush money case? Is it an election here are the counters. interference case? What is it? Here are the counters. One, no one is above the law. Two, he did it. Three, the guy who helped him do it uh, recorded a conversation that Trump suggested never happened, so he lied. And he is the one who says it went down exactly the way prosecutors say it does. 34 felonies, Chris. You alluded to this in your open. 34 felonies. You know what they are? So he paid 130000 to Stormy Daniels, the porn star. He, uh, where do they get the 34 counts? 12 ledger entries, 11 invoices, 11 checks. This is 34, it's not 34 counts, it's 34 overt acts to commit one crime. It's not 34 crimes, it's one crime. So it's being ridiculously overcharged. It's, it's clear, it's clear. And, and they say that he, he uh, covered it up because of uh, election interference. That's what the district attorney alleges, election interference. What if he was covering it up because he didn't want his wife to hear about it and kick him out of Trump Tower. You know, you, you have to prove that he did this in furtherance of election interference. And I maintain that this is not, not provable with clear and convincing evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. This is a stretch. That's why they debated whether or not to bring this case. They, they, uh, Bragg was under tremendous pressure from the Harlem Democrat machine and uh, you know, you have to do as well as Letitia James in getting uh, the penalties and the th hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, this is really, really a, a tremendous stretch. It does a disservice to the, uh, to the justice system. This isn't justice. It is persecution. They campaigned. Alvin Bragg and Letitia James, the attorney general, campaigned that they were going to get Trump, and that was their campaign before they were elected. That was their that was their their platform, getting Trump. It's just not fair. It's just not fair. And I, I think that, uh, you know, the system should be ashamed. Look at this diversion. Uh, you, you, they can't pick the juries, uh, you know, uh, because they're everybody hates Trump in Manhattan. Uh, back to you, Chris. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.